some lucky people saw their lights come back on today after widespread power outages from Sunday storms. Thousands, however, they remain in the dark. Wave News reporter David Mattingly is talking to people who are now in day three of no electricity. That's right, Meyer. Houses lost power dotting the map all across Jefferson County. And I'm in the Plainview neighborhood right now, just one of the places where you see a lot of people in the dark today, and they're not alone. Splintered wooden utility poles and power lines twisted like spaghetti. Brandon Slaughter and Chad Delaney remember the moment on Sunday when the lights went out at their South End home. It came on the broadcast that there was a tornado watch. And about that time, the trees started snapping, and <laughs> that's when we both started freaking out. This video shows the storm's sudden intensity. In an instant, trees and limbs were falling. It just was fast. The tree fell, and sparks were flying all over the place. We lost power immediately. And we ran to the, to, we grabbed the dogs and ran into the hall. Those seconds of destruction resulted in days of inconvenience. Late Tuesday morning, 19,000 of the 20,000 lg e customers without electricity were in Jefferson County. 600 of them concentrated in a multi-block area south of Valley Station Road. You're not kidding. It's dark in here. <laughs> it is. It's dark everywhere. Wilma Thompson cautions us to watch our step as extension cords snake through her house. This is her third day of no electricity. A generator keeps the refrigerator cold and a fan blowing when it gets too hot in the house. There's nothing much else for Wilma to do but sit on her shaded front porch and try to stay patient. We don't have any way to cook. We don't have any way to wash dishes. We don't have any way to do anything, laundry, anything. When we were there, LG&E predicted a return of service within 12 hours. Contractors were working to clear fallen debris. Heavy equipment propped up a leaning utility pole. What are you going to say when the lights come back on? Thank God. Thank God. And Wilma Thompson was probably saying exactly that when the lights came back on at 3 o'clock today. Here in the Plainview neighborhood, they've been told that the lights will be back on here today by 11 p.m. Reporting live, David Mattingly, Wave News.